Hello everyone! In this video I would like to go over the statistics for December 2023 and review the highlights of the past year. It seems that December numbers mark a new starting point, soon to be viewed as the beginning of the end of the high interest rates crisis of 2022-2023. As of January 1, 2024, the average real estate price in Toronto stands at $1,084,000, which is 3.2% higher than a year ago. However, it is still 18.7% below the peak prices of February 2022, marking the turning point following the drastic increase in interest rates in Ontario. At the peak, the average selling price in Toronto was $1,334,000. Last spring, when the Bank of Canada kept interest rates unchanged several times, prices began to rise. The growth in prices over the first three months of spring 2023 was more than 8%. However, with the onset of the new wave of interest rates increases in the summer of 2023, prices started to decline again, falling approximately 5% from July to November. Today, real estate prices in Toronto are approximately 3% higher than the lowest point of the crisis, which according to most experts, we have already passed. For a complete picture, I also want to show you the prices at the beginning of 2021 compared to the peak prices at the start of 2022. In February 2021, a year before the peak prices, the average real estate price in Toronto was $1,044,000, which is 3.5% lower than today. In other words, even with such high interest rates, prices did not crash, but simply stopped rising, remaining at the same level where they were almost three years ago. Of course, market volatility will continue, and the exit from the crisis will not be instantaneous. Nevertheless, the worst is already behind us, and we hope that in 2024 the Toronto real estate market will see more and more positive trends. A good indication is that the December 2023 became the only month of the whole year where the number of transactions was higher than in December of the previous years. We clearly see buyers returning to the market. Those that have been pre-approved for mortgages are not willing to miss the opportunity, while prices are still low and inventory is still not that limited. Speaking of number of listings, it has decreased by 6.6%, which is also a very positive indicator. Throughout the past year, the number of listings on the market kept increasing, and finally in December, a month when nothing usually happens, we saw improvement in all statistical indicators. Now, the January stats will be very important, and if the trends remain positive, we will likely see a rather active spring market. It's too early to confirm this 100%, but the probability of the active spring market is increasing day by day. We are carefully monitoring real estate market changes and always strive to keep you informed of what's happening on the market. Please subscribe to our channel not to miss any interesting information. This was Nikolai Klushkin from Nikolai and Tatiana Real Estate Team. See you soon.